Libra. All right, Libra, let's do this. What do we got for Libra? What do we got for Libra, please? Nine of Wands, the foundation. Okay. See, right now, we're all coming out of these karmic cycles and patterns we've been stuck in. Nine of Cups at the sacral in your power. This is just like your emotional power. I always say this Nine of Cups position, you can go any which way you want from there. Once you achieve that, which you guys have now, you see how everything you've been through has led to this point of emotional stability in yourself. You don't need anyone. You're totally good on your own. Even if you guys have people, you're just still in that empowered energy to where it's like you are like a rock. You're a foundation now. And it's all based off your emotional maturity. Devil, Capricorn, solar plexus. Yeah. It's like you've been able to let go of these attachments or you're letting go of these attachments. You've really compartmentalized them. You see them for what they are. And you're moving forward in your self-emotional powered Libra. Page of Wands at the heart, right? It's almost like this new, like, renewed sense of passion that's coming up for you guys, too. And it's like, as you're doing this, it's making way energetically, and it's made space energetically for you to allow for other things to come through now. It's like all the gifts are just going to start flowing through now because you guys have taken the time. Wow, Page of Pentacles. Eight of Wands. Wow, the third eye. There it comes. Yeah, and it's like everybody around you, I feel, is like, how did Libra do that? How are they doing that? Wow, the star. There you are. The crown. It's like you've just been through something really, really, really hard and dramatic, some sort of cycle. And the way you've pulled through it is not at all how people thought this was going to turn out for you at all. It's like you've just completely done this entire up-leveling. This this uh, I can't even speak. It's just like an exciting energy, Libra. I feel like you guys have been running this cycle, whatever it is, for a long time. You guys may have found yourselves in the same sort of relationships and not understood why. Like you're just dating the same person over and over again or you're being opposed by the same person over and over. But just in a different package, right? All that is is just, that's just the devil, right? Wheel of Fortune showing up in a, in a different skin suit trying to get trying to fool you right see he's right at the bottom of the wheel there acting like it's for you but really the only one for you is you period okay let's uh switch decks here all right what else six of wands at the sacral wow you guys have something coming in for sure. It's like you guys have defeated these demons in the um, energetic realm and you just don't really know it down here, but you feel like something's going on, right? Like as above, so below. You up leveling down here is you destroying demons in the energetic realm, that which cannot be seen, the moon, cancer energy. In this deck, I think it's Pisces energy, but we're just going to say cancer right now. So it's Everything that's hidden is now coming to light down here in the three-dimensional space. You just need to wait for it. Temperance energy. And here you are, slipping away, trying to get away from this energy. It's been holding you back all your life, right? It's like you're just trying to get away, but you're trying to do it like... You realize that there's no... No place to even try and compromise with this energy or try and come to some sort of, like, terms. It's just, you gotta get away, but it's like you have to do it in this quiet, peaceful way so you don't disturb the hive, right? You don't disturb, right? But as you're slipping away, it feels it's like, why am I feeling so depleted of my energy? Igor, go down. Go down to the house of Libra, the seventh house down there. Igor, hurry along quickly. I feel like one of my Libra has escaped, Igor. A lot of, a lot of escapees recently, Igor. Igor, are you listening to me? Igor, where are you? It's like Igor's already gotten out of there himself, right? 
Okay, what else? What else for Libra? I'm just throwing my cards all over the place today. We're going to switch decks here. Okay, let's take from this Occult Tarot deck. Furfur, Ten of Cups, Pisces Energy. This is this energy has really painted itself like it's everything. Like your idea of the Ten of Cups has been like resonating at some demonic frequency based off of this energy. Like they've created this whole illusion around your faith and the way you see the world. But they're a straight fucking demon, Libra. Right? This could be a family member, a job, a relationship, whatever. All I know is it's like bizarro Ten of Cups, right? It's not real. Well, it's real, but it's demonic. It's from hell. It's trying to it's trying to keep your idea of what the Ten of Cups is, which is full emotional bliss and happiness. You know, it's like what you receive after this after the Nine Cups. It's like your family, it's the white picket fence, it's whatever you see is your ultimate happiness and wish fulfillment. They have actually given it to you, but the bizarro version, the distorted version, right? And you're like, well, this is so weird, man. This is not what I had in mind at all. Right? So it's like you've had to step back to this Ten of Cups place into your emotional self to recalibrate. Okay. What else? What else for Libra? What else for Libra, please? What else for Libra? Wow, they don't want these cards to come out. There we go. Wow, Five of Swords, yeah. This energy does not want you to see how much of a jerk face sneak it is, right? It's like this energy thinks that you actually, that it's actually pulled the woo, the woo, the woo. Oh my God. There's a message in there. It's like your faith threatens this person, right? So they've made, they've built this whole other faith around these demonic frequencies and it tries to feed you that, right? It's like this, I'm just getting like an abusive person, but they're abusing your faith and they're doing it in this sneaky way, right? They're taking things from away from you, from your faith. So it's almost like, Somebody like you go out and you get like a beautiful crystal and you're showing it to this person. You're like, oh, look at this beautiful new crystal I got. And they're like, oh, whatever. Those don't work. And this person has trusted you for a long time and actually took that on board and puts it down. It's like, oh, okay. And then you, this person comes up behind and takes the crystal and it's like, <laughs> I've taken, I've taken, I've taken Libra's crystal now. It's like an energy like that. Just like a big gaslighting, pathological lying energy. And this is how this person lives. They think that it's actually cool to be like this. Okay, what else? Page of Swords. I really feel like this energy, this is that energy. All they are is a Page of Swords. And somehow... They've painted themselves as something else to you. Maybe you met this person before you like started getting into spirituality or going deeper and being able to like compartmentalize these energies. But this person is a complete loser, a complete loser, right? On the energetic realm, they're a nobody. They're an absolute nobody. And they're messing with somebody, right? Who's of this star energy. But it's like the lesson here was, it's like your memories have been wiped and you've been put down here to actually deal with this energy. But you're actually like this star, like just can do anything, go anywhere. And they're just like this lower demon frequency. But maybe by you doing this, this is what knocks this frequency into its power somehow. 
or it gets them on the road. It's like you set an example for this frequency now, and it can start its own up-leveling, hopefully. I mean, that's all you can really hope for, right? So there's like an, there's like an energy here of setting an example as well, just by stepping into your power. Okay, Libra, I'm going to leave it there. If you guys would like a personal, all that information is in the description below. Please like, share, and subscribe. And guys, thanks again for all your donations. I really appreciate it, and I'll talk to you soon.